In the last two years, really since 2018, we have over eight African-American cemeteries that have been rediscovered in the Tampa Bay area. Um, that, that's a lot. Part of the, the goal of the project is to not only engage students and teachers, but to bring about awareness to some of the complexities of the past that have led us to a point of having to rediscover these African-American cemeteries and to preserve it through education. Well, the Rose Hill Cemetery in Tarpon Springs is actually one of the largest intact segregated African-American cemeteries in Pinellas County. And there's quite an extensive section that is my understanding that has unmarked African-American graves. And so this is a project that one of their, I think it's their community outreach director, Mrs. Peck Bartle, has um, reached out to some of the schools so that we could create a significant and meaningful memorial for some of those unmarked graves. Um, I'm participating because I feel like it's a good experience. You know, it's, it helps the community and it, it's not every day that you can like make an impact like painting headstones for like unmarked people. So we had five schools, Palm Harbor, Largo, Seminole, Richard O. Jacobson, and St. Pete High all had uh, teachers volunteer to participate with their students and it was it's joint with the students in, who had done this in Hillsborough and it's just great that we were able to have the opportunity to do it but also that the students kept wanting to know more and learn more and be able to do more as they started to get into the project. Oh, absolutely. Well starting off in the classroom and introducing this project to the students you know they didn't really have the familiarity most of us didn't so it drove us into researching and learning more about the community. Um, it got the students really interested in what this looks like to them in the community. Um, and then from there, they were inspired to create their plaques. And with those plaques, we talked about, you know, who are we trying to commemorate? What are we trying to capture here? And what are we trying to say um, about this community? And it drove them to really dive deep into reflecting and thinking about not just themselves, but what this means in a much bigger picture. I think it's really important that students and teachers in Pinellas and Hillsborough County understand and recognize that historically we are all one community with a shared history. It's always important that we can help our students connect with their curriculum, um, with history, with research. And so a lot of times it's very easy to do when you use local history examples and something like the Rose Hill Cemetery uh, gives students the chance to practice um, their historical thinking skills, but then it also allows them the ability to creatively express what they've learned um, and how they've internalized what they've learned. I hope people can like go to like these graves and look at this art and think maybe it's not as sad as we interpret the dead to be. Like, it's, it's uh, very unfortunate for people to pass away, but it's also important to celebrate their spirits and live on, like to make the world a better place.